everyone. Today we have a 2014 BMW uh, 528i or F10 chassis. Um, the two front headlights have been replaced on this vehicle with a used one, including the modules and the lens, the whole unit all together. And then um, the headlights do work, but they do not work the way it's supposed to be because it's not coated properly. And we have this message adaptive headlight malfunction. That's completely normal. So what we're gonna do at this moment is that um, um, since this module was programmed already from the beginning, because this used one is being programmed to another car, all we're gonna do is we're gonna do the coding to adapt it to the vehicle. If this was a brand new module, we would have to program it and then code it, okay? Most of the time at least. So um, you're gonna go to, uh, and guys, by the way, I'm using an Hotel Ultra with a VCMI, okay? And um, once you get to the main screen, you're just gonna go to programming you need to, you can um, read all this if you want. It's telling you basically what you need to be careful with, what you can't. So as you see, it says um, battery should not exceed 14.2. I'm right at 14.1. Um, That's fine. That's perfectly fine. So um, you just gotta be above 13 volts. Press okay. And okay, as you've seen here, it says you need to have the cable from the hotel version 2.0 because or um, it will not work because normally you would have to have an ethernet cable and you have to connect separately but with this one you can avoid um with this one you can avoid uh, having a um ethernet cable connected to the vehicle just press okay i would have looked at this car before just to see make sure that i can code and program it with the hotel so just gonna go through some process actually it might not show me right now but um uh it, it should have actually asked me if i replaced any module in the car and you would have selected the, or both of the headlights, headlight modules, okay? It didn't do it with me because the car already knows. I mean, the hotel already knows it because I'm continuing a session that I uh, that I created before. All right, so um, we're gonna go to just coding. Since you guys know, we don't gotta do any programming. This modules were already programmed. It's not one specific on the, you know, the, in the P flash side, we just doing the um, coding section, code flash. So it can adapt to the vehicle. So let's go find this. Okay, so um, these were replaced. I'm just gonna hit that. And I'm gonna uncheck this one because I do not wanna code anything else on the car. That's the only thing I wanna code, okay? And press okay. All right, this is the information of the vehicle, okay? And um, let's see the screen, okay? So we're gonna do this and it's gonna ask me to connect to the internet. I will have to shut off my, shut off the video first. Um, and connect my hotspot and continue. So I was successfully connected to the internet from my from my phone's um, hotspot. Press OK. It's gonna look for the um try to connect it to the um server of the um, hotel and then down trying to download the files which is doing at the moment. Okay, so everything is connected properly. Just gonna go ahead and should do the start doing the uh, program the recording very shortly. All right, the ignition the engine is all off. Ignition is on. It's 14.2 because I do have a maintainer. Look, I do have a maintainer hooked up to the vehicle. Uh, it says, you see, guys, it says the voltage must be stable during the coding and programming, or you can have problems, especially with BMW. It is very, very important. Press OK. I do have a battery maintainer. It's not a charger. I'm not jumping the car, nothing like that. And it's still clean power supply, steady. All right, so right now we started on um, going to coding. Um, Coding process. It's basically preparing the car for it. This should be very quick. It shouldn't take that long. Coding is supposed to be very quick. Hopefully, we can get rid of that um, headlight malfunction. All right. Actually, guys, the light just went out. That indicator it just went off. So it is successfully coded. So we just have to finish, we just have to wait until it finishes this thing and go from there. And I just like doing, using hotel with this BMW coding and programming because it's just, they just make it so simple. Of course, it is not going to be like this dealer software like a Easter Easter P or, or any other day software. Um, they have a lot more, more functionality most likely, but um, Definitely the hotel makes it easy and if it works, it works perfect.
haven't had any issues yet. Should be done very soon. Leaving all the fault memories. Okay. All right, so it's teaching in the LEDs. On the left side. Okay, so the left side was good. Let's do the right side. Okay, this looks like it looks really promising. Um, hopefully, nothing goes wrong after this point. Just want to make sure everything's done perfectly. All right, continue. Okay, so everything is done. It's gonna press okay, and it probably is gonna update the wake loader. There we go. After this one, we should be done, and this car should be ready to go. And after this is done, we can actually go ahead and check the headlights, see if they're working properly. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work properly because um, once the coating was done, that indicator went right out on the cluster. And guys, I think uh, with this one, you could use an IM608 to code it. You can use um, uh, 906 BT and um, some of the ones, or the, uh, some of the tools that the Otel has. It, it's not only the um, Ultra, okay? So, um, but on those, you would have to use uh, an Enet cable between the, um, um, between the tablet and the uh, OBD, as well as the regular OBD, okay? So everything is done right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start this vehicle at the moment. And you don't have to cycle the ignition actually. It does everything for you. So let's see if there's any malfunction that comes for the headlights. Okay, I do not see any malfunction on the headlights. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna turn the headlights on right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead on the front and check it, make sure everything is fine. Okay guys, so um, recording is done. Now we're gonna test out the headlights. Um, left turn signal maybe? Okay, it works. Good, let's do the right side. It works. Can we do high beams? All right, high beams work as well. And um, also the other lights, the small lights. As you see, it's adaptive headlights, so um, it comes on with the steering wheel itself. So, okay, let's turn off the lights. These are the day running lights. So guys, that is it. This is perfectly fine. The job is done. Thank you guys for watching. And you're gonna see you later.